Alright, what then? Two o'clock, them boy can come clean up. Can! This side. Uh, first, may I see how it works still? Can I call him up in the phone? I lost. No, I got already, man. Mm -hmm. Good morning, Team My Smash. How's everybody doing today? Welcome back to the vlog. Today we're doing a demo on putting on the roof compound from Berger himself. Alright, one for ratio. <coughs> No, you, you, you don't have to stir up that. That's not settling. That's two things to settle. So what you want to do now is stir, go inside the bucket with the water. One of you stir and the other one pour out slowly. So. Yeah, yeah. That's just mixing like a tea, yeah, me. Let's go. Alright, that that's what Yeah, this is what it's supposed to. Have a start now. No no you have to start come you may settle down now. So yeah, I'll show them where, where proper consistency look like. Huh? Yeah, but it's four to one. So we just, we just, we just so how much water? You know, we just add up with a gallon of water in the bucket. One, one four it's quarter. It's four to one. Gallon of water. But unless you're going to come with a gallon, Major, you have learned that. Yeah, but I want to have a gallon jug, man. Okay, good. <laughs> yeah, Major. Yeah. 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 Just scrape off the edge and cover back that. Because like when you pour it somehow, it do something there. One, 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 forty nine. So we're not coming back tomorrow? Uh-uh. You're not 24 hours and 7 seconds. But you sound like you know what you think, man. We were certified. We were certified. That is true. <laughs> Primer is the crucial one. We get half a demo, man. That's why we call it demo. <laughs> it's just a full demonstration. <laughs> <laughs> Boy. Huh? Put some more in it. Water, man. Water. You're supposed to get penetration, you know. Four to one. Mm -hmm. Four to one. You always say about the consistency. It's four to one. But that's what I mean. I say important for you to show them the type of consistency it's supposed to be. Whatever. All right. Because that look you know, what? Just throw hmm? one gallon of water. That, 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 that's what up to the five gallon. That's what I put the water first. That is it. Because I'm going to crack it up. Oh yeah. It have pretty, and especially like how the steel float you need even more penetration than normal. Gotcha. Because it, do, it does not have mo many protrusions like a server like this to grab onto. So it have to go down in, into the decking. The man I don't understand so we feel more punching. Yes I. Uh, Hold this here. Yeah. It's straight. We <laughs> feel like that. This is a country man this and you still. No, what happens is that how they manufacture it, you know. When they manufacture it, it's a, it's a thing where you hold spin and press it hard. Okay. So sometimes down here, so um, they get mat, mat up together. This is just the rule system. That's, it, it doesn't affect the application, it's just that the, the, the roller will hold less. Okay, do okay, that. okay. He said it. <coughs> Which direction are we going? No, in terms of that way? Yeah. Which side is what we're going to go out and we're going you can just send them to your first gear to come put on it. You can't get to a post here if I come for a place for the day. So I'm asking you to come back with a thing on the way. 
So this is the first court of the wood of the roof compound. First court. Also called the, the undercoat. We have a mixture. It is a water-based compound. So you can mix it with water. It's a one-four ratio mix. Just a demonstrate to you all crew. You normally have one square footage. Or square footage go? Huh? Or square footage go? It's about 40 square foot per gallon. 40 yeah. square foot per gallon. But that's two quotes. Two quotes. But bear in mind that square footage is normally a theoretical calculation. So in other words, if your surface is uneven, square footage is assumed are completely flat. And it also assumes no penetration. Because you simply take the solids and multiply it by the, the yeah. spread rate. So if you have penetration, like say, a very porous surface, or you have undulations, yeah. because technically it's got to flow at a level. So but we, we expect from where, from where put uh, this on concrete, we expect it's a porous surface. Hmm? Because two types of paint for porous and non-porous. So as I said, when you, when you calculate spread rate, it's calculated. Because what happens is that also, even a, a concrete surface, depending on your mixer or the, or the mortar, the process can vary. Because some of the houses that you guide do where you have um, the pebble that finish on the house. I remember there's one they did that um, I think it's called something like a ridge. In Spanish Saint Catherine, ridge. Spanish ridge. Oh yeah. With the pebble that surface. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. Because it's more you normally for pebble that you put, you put about 30 to 40% more paint. Yeah man. You don't want a situation where too much dust. Oh, build up. On the first coat. Oh, I'm gonna smart, you know, man. You can't sweep it off again. Mm -hmm. You can't sweep, you can't so sweep. You have to keep it dry. Right. So you give 24 hours so that you can walk on it, so you can step on it mm -hmm. without delaminating. Okay, you okay. Too much time. It's because I feel the construction on the side. Yeah. Dust is always in the air. Oh, okay. Like, like, to, like, uh, like those, those hard in there somewhere. Huh? Yeah. No. At least 24 hour cans. No, what that we can go more than the 24. Yeah, mm -mm. he no recommend that. He no recommend that. 24 to 36. 24 to 36. Almost, almost two days. Day and a half. That's two months. I mean, No. 36 would have been. 24 would have been to, to about this time tomorrow. 36 would give you tomorrow evening. Mm. Well, we don't recommend you go too late today. So now, when you say 24, depending on what time of the day you start. Yeah, you know? man. Yes, sir. Man, I need the space huh? enough. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, I don't want you now to hear no more. I don't want you now to hear no more. Thank <laughs> you. 
morning again to my smash new day update on our local painting of the roof compound so we're painting the slabs of all the units today we're focused on the roof as you can see most of the units then kind of prime with this concrete primer on the outside whenever I use the, the flat or low sheen or whatever paint we use a we use a primer to prime the unit and uh, yeah this is basically the end result from putting on the roof compound first coat one direction is a directional kind of application so the first coat one direction the second coat the other direction as you can see we are going that way here first coat we went this way that way there on the second coat greetings again team i smash to wrap up that vlog here for today and as you can see painting the vlog here is about just painting not more so as i say and everybody use roof compound for practice they use it that's why like speaking from years and countless amount of sites countless amount of construction of homes i've never had a complaint i heard of a complaint especially for these types of units this this type of development of anybody having any leakage problems so even if the roof slab is faulty so far the compound has been holding up and um i mean i really remember how much after like after probably 10 years or so you can probably do another coat on the yard that can not in the last favor it's a roof compound type of deal they recommend you applying the second coat between 12 and 36 hours after the first coat no rain you want um, and not too much sun i think it is so that but in the evening so yeah i think we did got you how the application goes as i said first coat and most most i'm gonna tell you so that because i know you have type some type of roof compound I will call the brand way. Don't use for the undercoat mix it with water. And when they say water base, you can mix it with water. As we say, you go down in the cracks, any little concrete cracks, so you go down in all of that and kind of seal it up. So there's just a ratio. And we use one four, so one gallon of water to four gallon of roof compound. We mix it, apply the first coat. The second coat now, we don't mix it none at all. So it's full viscosity and apply him never specify the the consistency you're supposed to look just mix it out and um, you'll be all right apply with second coat and we're good the reason why i'm saying you know the second coat being applied too late because they have a lot of things that might blow on the unit dust and every look any other little thing and you really want to sweep off back up there because you can I said only the first, the second coat, it can peel off. I, mean, I remember for the first or the second coat, but it can peel off and we try our best and really do the farmer sweeping. We apply the second coat as soon as possible. Well, yeah, guys, um, one time I did feel like I like a um, paint specialist in the community, so know all of the properties of paint, every little thing when you come on to paint. But I slowly I forget, forget it because I really, you don't really need to know. Or like the vehicle, or else in paint, different different type of pigment and all that. You don't need to know it like like that. You just need a specialist. You don't need to know everything. You just need to have an idea, you know. So yeah, guys, thanks for watching this vlog. I'm gonna sign out. See you guys in my next vlog. As we hope to be doing something new, and uh, hope you guys enjoy this paint vlog. Learned a bit. You learned something new today. Uh, can I give this video a like, a thumbs up, comment, team smash. Let's go. I'm out.